Now let's talk about the beautiful Pisceans, the last sign of the zodiac, the number 12. The water, this is the last of the water signs, last of the moksha signs. It's interesting that Vedic astrology talks of all the water signs as moksha signs. You have Cancer over there in the fifth and Scorpio in the ninth, right? And Piscean now comes in the ascendant. So they ask the questions, why me? They want to be liberated from their ego first. They are very strongly aware of their ego structures which makes them very introverted. This is why these Pisceans become more deeply philosophically introverted because this is ruled by Jupiter. So they are philosophically inclined to liberating themselves. They are seeking liberation from the start but they want to ground it because this is Tamas. They want to ground it in a way that they carry out um, carry out is the wrong word. They are going to use that knowledge, that knowledge of liberation in the world. This is the highest of ideals. But how they will achieve it, let's take a look. So in the second house, they start with the new beginning. So they start with the Aries and go all the way up till Aquarius in their life to come to answer these basic questions, why me? And it will keep getting answered more and more grounded as they go through life because it's tamasic energy, they need to ground it. In second house, they need to find the path purpose. They start asking these questions very earlier on to their family perhaps, to their parents perhaps as children. What am I here for? What is my path and purpose and direction in life? Because second house stands for family. They will try to seek it first in their immediate family and later on through if they get married, through their created family. What am I doing with all these people? What am I doing with this spouse, with these children, whatever it is. So this will be constantly changing because it's a Rajasic house. And they will look for that why. In the third house, they have Rajas and Artha, the Taurus. So they want to recognize skills and abilities resources and ability. So this will help them if the Piscean who is looking for moksha comes to this house, it becomes tricky for them. This will be an early struggle for the Piscean souls because you are looking for the why me answer and here you have to find resources and abilities for the why me. You see the difference there? This recognizing your skills and resources won't answer the question why me? Not yet. So just have patience, Pisceans. First, you need to recognize what resources you have. Develop your communication skills, abilities and everything. The why me will be answered later on. It does for every ascendant. That's the way life is. In the first, second of the Kendra houses, the fourth house, the mother, heart, home, family, homeland, real estate, they have Rajas and Kama, the Gemini. So here they will want to spend more time. The Pisceans are better off spending more time in their homes to try and discover different skills that they have. To use their mind more at homes, to use their communications more at homes. Okay, find out what their desires are there. That's where you want to start discovering before you answer the why me. Why me? Because you have got this skill. Why me? Because you have those resources. You see, I'm answering the questions for Piscean souls. The fifth house of education has cancer, which is Sattva and Moksha, the forward, the first, the second of the Moksha signs. They are already seeking these answers to the why me but now they come to education they need to connect education with their heart so for a Piscean ascendant soul you need to really study educate yourself develop skills creativity in the area that you connect with your heart that will be the secret of your success otherwise if you study end up studying something that you hate or something that you have no connection with the heart you're going to be miserable with that question through life. The why me won't be answered. It will get stronger and stronger till you decide to do something completely different to what you studied. 
understand this i'm saving you some trouble here in house number 6 you have sattva and dharma meaning what the why and the how so leo the creative intelligence has come here now that means the same thing what connection you made with studying with your heart if you have done that work remember folks this is conscious evolution you have to take these things into account and do these things in order for things to work doesn't matter which planets are where that will come to later on if you want consultation you can get in touch with me on facebook but the point here i'm making is if you connect with your skills if you connect with your creativity your creative intelligence from the heart if you do that in the fifth house your education that you bring to the daily work in daily work you will use that creative intelligence and education and that will lead you to the next dharma remember i spoke in aquarius about how dharma becomes a, how the same aspect in 6th house is repeated in the 10th house so this is a graduation for that so here it becomes dharma for them means they ask very high ideology questions here and the same sattva dharma appears as sagittarius in their career and they can do wonderful work in the world in the 7th house they have tamas and artha now this is a little tough coming from the moksha aspect but the good thing is both are tamasic means both need to ground your partner needs to ground in a different way you need to ground in a different way you are going towards liberation this person is going towards work and routines so you need to connect with your spouse how will you connect with your spouse your spouse is all about work and routines and structure it's very very earthly sign virgo okay so the way you will connect with your spouse is you look for number 7 again this is the they are seeking the highest form of sexual union with their partners because this is sexual union and that's where libra is the liberating libra is in your eighth sign meaning you need to really connect with your partner sexually in order to have a fulfilling relationship in order to understand this one you have to have this aspect if you're watching my video that's why it's important to watch the video okay that's how it plays out for you piscean souls and in the ninth house you have tamas and moksha meaning your wisdom and whatever higher philosophy you gain in life okay is being answered by your seeking higher philosophy you need to seek the higher philosophy but they'll be very secretive about this they be secretive about their foreign travels about their wisdom about their philosophy why right? scorpio is a secretive sign but you will find the core desire there the why me answers you'll find deeply over here that's your graduation point so for the piscean ascendant soul the maximum the highest point of graduation will be the deepest possible knowledge because piscean stands for the ocean in seeking wisdom if you do that again there is a condition there is a caveat if you do that then you will bring the highest possible knowledge as your career you will become a teacher a spiritual teacher in the world if you do this because you are seeking answers to why me you will find it in the ninth house and that's what you will make as your career okay because your career has that signature to it it wants you to be sattva and dharma it wants you to preach teach bring wisdom and then you move to the social networking house the learned house which tells you that it is rajas and artha meaning it's a capricorn in terms of communication social media you need to be really focused in terms of career focused in terms of having a structure to it having a method to the madness have dealing with it in a way that is required with work and routines and everything whatever you do here using your creativity you can come to this place daily work but you need some structure around it you can't be woo woo about it all right that will make you successful in whatever you are doing even though you are very dharmic you are very neglectful of this then you won't get any success 
especially these days with so much of business is going on in social media you need this asap in the 12th house you have sattva and kama that means your highest graduation spiritual point in your evolution is to discover the purest form of desire the purest form of desire so you need fulfillment in gains in connections although you reject that because you are if you have done all this work you are about liberating from ego but your spirituality on the other hand is found in receiving gains and connections or in giving your gains and connections to other people because 12th house is about giving your wealth to other people so the more connections you make the more connections you give out your connections to other people and in turn making other connectivity with other communities the better off you will be in your spiritual path all right it's strange the way it plays out but it's a beautiful poetry i tell you that so keep watching as i will evolve more of these we will take in the next series the higher aspects of the water signs the fire signs earth signs and air signs so we will know a little pattern over there okay we are evolving soul astrology here folks this is a conscious evolution this is not an unconscious evolution if you plot your chart the vedic ascendant style and if you look at your chart like this you will get a completely whole new meaning of life and if you put the planets and points in well you will get the complete picture you will consciously take your direction forward it's all about consciously guiding yourself it's not about unconscious drifting right i'll leave you with that much for now